Welcome to Finished Work International Ministries, a ministry that is on the cutting edge, changing lives around the world. As you let God in today and apply the word, expect a divine encounter and supernatural transformation. It is impossible for you to be defeated when you have the revelation of the will of God. It is impossible for situations to subdue you when you walk in understanding of what God is saying to you. Let the finished work of Jesus determine what you pray. When God is your source, you don't look back. You keep looking forward. You keep trusting Him. God, I trust you. Here's Apostle Faith Man Obuena. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad. You're welcome to this live transmitting broadcast. And this is pray and prophesy to your day. I believe that one of the ways we're going to impart our destiny for good is when we speak God's word over our life over our vision and over our future you know the scripture said with god all things are possible if we want to see the manifestation of greater things we have to keep saying what god have spoken to us keep saying it you know sometimes god gives you a word of what he wants to do and what he has intended to do he expects you to be in partnership with him and that you consistently declare what he has said to you if you consistently declare what god has said to you nothing can be impossible to you if you consistently declare what God has said to you. So as we pray and prophesy today, there are things that the Lord has spoken to you. There are things the Spirit of God has brought to your knowledge that He wants you to do or He wants you to believe for and you have to keep saying it. It doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter the, the, the challenges you're going through or the opposition you're facing right now. Can you keep saying what God has said? Can you keep saying what God has said? You see, when you keep saying what God has said, you will create a future, a destiny that is consistent with the will of God. So you should have an expectation as we pray today. Have an expectation. There will be a supernatural intervention. Have an expectation. There will be a word, a super natural intervention an intervention that will move you forward an intervention that will empower you to move in the direction of the will of god Rimbra to son to lobo santa la basin to lobo malika prato se kete lebo sakaraba se keto libra kababa rundro se keto libra to se keto libra karababa rundro se keto libra to se keto lika parando se keto lika bragada lembro so koto libra to se keto libra karabaso to libra gada ribra to sen to lobo sakaribro to se keto lika parando melingra to se keri all things are possible when you start declaring the will of God. All things are possible when you start declaring the will of God, when you start declaring the purpose of God. Mosho 
Rimbro soko toli kambra deske toli kaparanga limbra toso koto mazanga li katalango melingra tose ke toli kaprades ke toli kaparanga limbro soto masuka prades ke toli kaparando is a season of seeing what God is doing. Can you see what God is doing in this season? Can you see? Can you make a connection with what the Spirit of the Lord is doing? Mandre sketoli kaparando se kapariko lobaba. Ribro seketoli kaparando se ketoli black kababa. Let's believe God for divine connection. You know, someone is watching today. Most times you haven't seen a solid relationship, people that could connect with you. Let's believe God for divine connection, for, for divine connection. Lift up your voice. Let's begin to believe God for divine connection. Relationship that have potential to move your vision forward. Santa Laba Seto Lobo Santa Lababa Rimbro Socotoli Gabarando Seketoli Caparanda Rimbro Socoto Mangro do Socoto Manki Ketalibro Sacli Blagada Rebrato Seketoli Brato Seketoli Blagada Divine Connection Divine Connection Masukaribo Seketoli Blacababa Divine Connection Supernatural Opportunities Lande Kete Maso Tolobo Supernatural Opportunities that will move you forward into your death destiny into your calling, into your assignment to Kumbra Kalingra do Seke Tolibaba in the name of Jesus. Keep saying it. Every prophetic word the Lord has given to you, let's begin to pray for manifestation of those words. Manifestation that you will have manifestations of the things you have heard. Those things you have heard that is consistent with the word of God, that you will have manifestation. Lift up your voice. Mm. Manifestation by the Spirit. Manifestation by the Spirit. Manifestation by the Spirit. Manifestation by the Spirit. Rondro se catolica prados que tan la cambroso ton capacanti alada. Le duma satanda la quita pracoto masoco tolo copranta sa catalica baba. Manifestation by the spirit. Le caraba se caraba. Manifestation of every prophetic word spoken over your destiny. Words that God has spoken to you. Let there be manifestation. Let there be manifestation in the name of Jesus. Masuka prito se que tola cababa. Manifestation in the name of Jesus. Ratoshe caparando melika prades que tole caprando soko tomakaba. Manifestation in the name of Jesus. Manifestation of the revelation you have received from the Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. The Word of God said in Ephesians 4, verse 27, He said, Neither, neither give a place to the devil. Neither. Either, sorry, either give a place to the devil. We're not going to give a place to the devil. We're not going to give a place to the devil. In any area of our life or mission or ministry, I like us to pray this morning, whatever that will lead to destruction, we will we'll take authority against it. In the name of Jesus, we'll bind every satanic destruction. Whatever that represents a destruction, a manipulation, a deception, Ida give a place to the devil. We shall not give any place to the enemy. Randro seketo libla karaba sakata libla kadaba baba baba. Reto sekata raba satala ba satala ba. Reto loto lobo satala ba ba seto lobo satala ba. La prarada ma seto lobo lobo lobo. Re karaba sekere bo sekere bo sekere bo sakara baba. Re poro bo sakara ba seketo libla gada. Rimbro seketo libla karaba seketo libla karaba. Rimbro sokoto libla karaba seketo libla gada. 
In the name of Jesus, Rito Masanta Lababa, Rendro Seketoli Caparando Seketoli Caprando Seketoli Gababa, Lembro Socotolo Boshanta Lababa, Rendro Socotoli Black Haraba Seketoli Black Haraba Baba, Rimbro Socotoli Black Haraba Seketoli Gababa, Rimbro Socotoli Black Haraba Socotoli Black Haraba Socotoli Black Haraba, Rimbro Seketoli Brato Socotoli Black Haraba Baba, Licanda Bragada Masocondo. Libra gara maso koto libra gara ribo shakata libra karaba seketo libra karaba bababa in the name of Jesus let's begin to pray against every form of deception whatever that is like a deception in this season trying to break your focus trying to take you of the curse that God have for you, let's come against them in the name of Jesus. We bind every form of deception, manipulation, and distraction. We bind every form of distraction in the name of Jesus. Mendros ketolika parando soketolika paranga limbro soketolika parando sheke bababa. In the name of Jesus. But remember that we need to keep saying what God has said. When you say that which God has said, you're opening door for greater things. You know, the, the confection of the word of God puts us in a position of uncommon blessing. The confection of God's word, as we make declaration of the word of God, we are laying a foundation for the manifestation of uncommon blessing. You know, there are certain things that we want to see in our lives, but we need, to act, we need to activate it by speaking the word of God. We need to bring it into manifestation by speaking the word of God. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, and God said, let there be light. Let there be light. And God said, this is what you should be doing in this season, is to be saying what you want to see, not just what you're going through. It's to be saying what you want to see. What do you want to see? In the next three months, in the next two weeks, in the next one month, what do you want to see? What experience do you want to have? What, what, what dimension of progress do you want to come into? What do you want to see concerning your assignment, concerning your purpose, concerning your calling? What do you want to see? And this is what the Spirit of God is saying this morning. What do you want to see when you start speaking God's word? You're putting it on motion. You're bringing it into manifestation. As we speak the word of God, we are releasing the will of God. As we speak the word of God, we are releasing the will of God into the atmosphere. And when you release God's will into the atmosphere, the impossible begins to happen. Your dreams begin to happen. Big, big things begin to happen. Things you, you never expected that could have happened suddenly begin to break loose. Begins to happen by the Spirit of God. The things you thought were impossible begins to break out. Begins to break out. And today I prophesy. We'll prophesy manifestations of our expectation. Manifestation of our expectation. Manifestation of our expectation. Whatever is your expectation in this season let there be manifestation let there be manifestation by the spirit of god manifestation of your expectation manifestation of your expectation in the name of jesus may you see manifestation of your expectation in this season Rimbro seketo li kanda raba so kamba. Rimbro seketo li kamba to seketo li la kamba. Manifestation of your expectation and offering. And go to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you that this house has been paid off. Lord, thank you that this house has been paid off. Lord, thank you. Just start doing that. It may be $20. It will amaze you how doors will be open to pay off that home. It will amaze you how it's going to be open. And you pay off that house and then you have uncommon harvest. And the Spirit of God is telling me to say this to you. Don't be weary in well-doing because there will be manifestation of your expectation. Don't be weary. Don't, don't be weary. Don't say, well, oh, I've tried that before. Well, I've done this before. Listen, 
when the word of God comes to you, that word is your way out of that any situation, especially when God gives you a rema word of what he wants you to do. A rema word. A rema word is a specific word from God comes to pay off that mortgage to buy that house. Start taking an offering, giving, thanking him, just thanking him, thanking him for giving you the, 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 the home, thanking him and just believe him. What God will do will amaze you. What God will do. You've been praying and said, Lord, give me direction. This is your direction. This is your direction. And you will see supernatural open door. Now, you know, the scripture talk about, and it said before you an open door. The reason for an open door is for you to flourish, is for you to prosper, is for you to succeed, is for you to excel. That's the reason for an open door. God opens door as you can have an expression of his will, as you can have an experience of his will. That's why he opens door. He opens door to move your vision forward. He opens door to bring you to a place of influence, a place of prominence, a place of strength, a place of power. That's like open door. And you're watching this broadcast right now. There's an open door. There's an open door before you. There is an open door. There is an open door before you. In the name of Jesus, walk into this opportunity. Walk into this opportunity. Do big things with your life. There is an open door before you. There is an open door. Manly Kondobo Shakababa. Thank you, Father. In this season, you'll be reaping harvest beyond your expectation. That's a prophetic word for someone. In this season, you'll be reaping harvest that is beyond your expectation. You know, but when we talk about harvest that is beyond your expectation, it's a kind of harvest that when it comes in, you know that only God could do this. Only God could have opened this door. Only God could have done this. Only God could have opened this door. Only God could have done this. So, by the Spirit of God, I see harvest coming that is beyond what you sowed for. The, the, beyond what you have sown for. You have sown some seed, but this harvest that is coming is beyond the seed you have sown. This harvest that is coming. And the Spirit of God will have me say this to you. Keep your expectation alive and you will come into manifestation. Keep your expectation alive and you will come into manifestation. There is someone you're watching and the Spirit of God said, keep your, don't lose your expectation. Don't lose your expectation. Don't, don't, don't walk away from the process of doing the word of God. Don't, don't walk away. Keep your expectation alive. Mighty things of the spirit is happening. All of us mighty things of the spirit is happening. It's happening to you right now. It's happening to someone watching this broadcast. Mighty things of the spirit. Mighty things of the spirit is happening for you. It's happening for you. Oh, Jesus, we well, thank you. Oh, we well, thank you. We well, thank you concerning this, this expectation of, this, of God's people that are watching. I pray for manifestation, a speedy manifestation, that you will not just see manifestation, but it will be a speedy manifestation by the Spirit of God, a speedy manifestation. This manifestation will come with speed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This manifestation will come with speed. This manifestation will come with speed. And, and someone said, I wish my husband could be restored back to me. In passing, you just said that. You just said that. You said, you wish my marriage would be restored. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. I hear the Lord saying, What do you want? The answer to your question is coming with an answer. What do you want? Then the Lord said, What you want, I can give. But what you want may not be my perfect will for you. What you want, I can give. That's what the Lord said. But what you want may not be my perfect will for you. Then he said, Check your hearts. Don't focus on your emotion. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Check your hearts. Is there peace for the restoration you seek? Because this man has moved on. What I saw in the spirit is that the man has moved on into another relationship. Then the Lord said, check your heart. Do you have peace? Or it's just emotion. But I heard them said, I have a perfect blessing for you concerning relationship. This is a word for someone right now. I have a perfect blessing for you. And you know, one thing I've known about the Lord is this. When he says something, and you believe what he has said, and you keep believing it, and you keep saying it, and you keep relying on what he has said, he will bring you into a manifestation that will change your story. He will bring you into a manifestation that will change your story. And there is someone watching right now you have been heavy. You have been heavy in your heart. Your heart has been heavy. You have been heavy in your heart. And the Spirit of the Lord is going to take away this load, this, this pain that you are having. It's going to take away this pain. This pain, this heaviness. The Spirit of heaviness is gone. For in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of heaviness to leave right now by the spirit of God. Be gone right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. You know, the Lord has anointed you to minister in songs. He has anointed you. I'm talking to someone listening to me. But you, you don't see it as a gift that could take you places. But I heard the Lord said, that gift will take you places if you begin to nurture it, if, if you stay faithful in cultivating it, if you stay faithful in, in serving with that gift, that gift will take you places. And this is what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. You know, sometimes God will put things in our lives and He wants us to use them. But because we look at them as not being, it's not big enough. It's not, I don't see a future in it. No, if you go by the flesh, you miss out on the will of God. If you're led by the Spirit, you have victory. If you go by the flesh, you will miss out on the will of God. If you're led by the Spirit, you have victory. By the Spirit, we see. Thank you, Holy Spirit. By the Spirit, we see. Thank you, Lord. By the Spirit, we see. By the Spirit, we receive. By the Spirit, we're taking steps that will lead to manifestation. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus will praise you, will praise you, will praise you, will praise you, will praise you. Someone has asked God for the grace to forgive and let go. 
the spirit of God is just melting away that pain in your heart right now. That pain, that anger you, you've been struggling with. That pain in your heart because she betrayed you. She betrayed you. I saw betrayal that led to this heavy heart. Receive healing. May the bitterness melt away by the Spirit of God. Let it melt away right now. Thank you, Father. Receive peace. Receive peace. Peace in the name of Jesus. I rebuke the spirit of confusion and deception trying to take control of your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You know, the, the Lord is just... You woke up some few days ago and you saw some things in your body like rashes. Someone you're watching me. You, you woke up and you saw some things in your body. You are surprised. Where is this coming from? You receive your healing right now from that situation. I cause that infection to die to the roots. Thank you, Spirit of God. Be healed by the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Jesus as the Lord and Savior, it will always be my pleasure to minister God's word to you. And if you're watching this broadcast and you're not yet born again and you want me to pray for you, I'd like you to say this after me. Lord Jesus, I confess with my mouth, I believe in my heart, that God have raised Jesus from the dead. Thank you, Father, for saving me. Amen. If you pray this prayer with me, it means you're born again, and the Spirit of God will lead you from this day forward. I want to encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, we'll have a lot of teachings on YouTube that could help you encourage you strengthen you so when you go to faith man teachings on youtube you have so many life changing broadcasts that could move you forward that is very powerful and also you can watch me every day on finishworktv.com you can watch me every day on finishworktv.com and also i want to encourage you to get our books on amazon there is greatness in you and for the things you need to know about your future, it's available on Amazon.com. Those are my books. And today, I want to encourage you to consider partnering with the ministry. You know, I always tell people the importance of partnership because through partnership, we'll continue to reach out to more and more people. Ministry is a teamwork. I believe in people working together. I believe in a team spirit because when we work together, we could do more. One of the ways you partner with this ministry is to pray for me every day for utterance that God will strengthen me to keep doing what I just called me to do. And also considering giving a love gift as the Spirit of God will lead you. So I want to encourage you to consider giving a love gift, sowing a seed, giving an offering for the ongoing broadcast of God's Word. Father, we pray for all our partners and all our viewers and friends who are watching today. Let us say, support the ongoing work of God. The, the radio broadcast, the TV broadcast. I pray that you increase their resources. I pray you multiply their finances. I pray that doors of opportunities will open for you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, you can do your giving by going to PayPal. On PayPal is faithmanteaching at gmail.com. On PayPal is faithmanteaching at gmail.com. And also, you can go to finishworktv.com and slash giving, and you can give from there. Thank you for being part of this broadcast. Someone said, repeat it. Someone was saying, I want to write the address. And it's on PayPal, it's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. On PayPal, it's faithmanteaching at gmail.com. Or you could go to our website, it's finishedworktv.com. Finishedworktv.com finishedworktv.com and slash giving 
you can get from there. Thank you so much for being part of this broadcast. And thank you for partnering with the ministry together. Me and you, we're changing the lives of many people. I love you. On to my next broadcast. Don't forget this. There is greatness in you. And Jesus is coming soon.